All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another installment of the Schoolie School Bus Conversion. Um, today I decided that we are going to do the coolant lines. We're gonna rerun them under the bus. And so the reasoning for this is because I need to defrost this whole front windshield. And I was gonna just get like an electric one, but the interwebs decided that that was a bad idea because there's so much window and a regular car <sighs> defroster can't do it. So I saved all my coolant lines originally, which is awesome. And I saved all these fittings and such. So I'm gonna try to piece everything back together and um, get this baby back going. And I bought some of these um, fittings for um, anything else that I need. And I just went underneath to see uh, what it looks like and it's gonna be a bit of an extravaganza today um, I lost my hat under there somewhere um, but yeah I've got all these leftover hose clips and then my neighbor Ted had some of this extra pipe I think it's like poly something pipe and I'm gonna connect it with all the extra stuff I have and hopefully it works but I don't want to worry about having to get my big camera underneath the bus so we're switching over to GoPro in three two one all right here we go GoPro status you guys ready to get under the bus let's do this all right the first thing I'm doing is reattaching the coolant line this is the little pump that shoots it back it used to shoot it up inside cover that up and this is the nozzle so I'm gonna reattach the hose to it. All right, now we're under the bus. And the fun part about this is that there's two coolant lines that need to be run, uh, there and back again. And so I get to do everything twice. Just found my hat. Yeah. Nice. I think this is the return. And the cool part about these is that they have on off switches so that the coolant doesn't pour all over me the whole time I'm doing this. The first run is done. I used about six feet of the bendy coolant pipe and from here I'm gonna cut some of the more rigid stuff so it'll go all the way through the storage compartment and then it'll land right there and hopefully I can just do it all in one long piece but I'm finding it very difficult to keep the dirt out of my eyeballs so this is a little bit annoying Hi buddy, is it time to eat? All right, welcome back to the land of the living sunlight. It's real. Um, so just finished running all the hoses, cutting all the holes 
Um, I didn't connect anything yet, so tomorrow I'm gonna connect all the hoses and um, run some insulation around the hose, and then we should be good to go. So we'll see ya in one second. All right, we're back. Just had a lovely church service, convicting, challenged to belong to a church. But hey, this isn't Theology Thursday. This is Bus Sunday, so time to get my butt back under the bus. Let's go. All right, so today I'm just reattaching, or first time attaching, the uh, hoses together. I just have like four connections to make. I got my soap to lube up the connections, and I've got my connectors, and I've got my little brackets. And then I'm gonna zip tie them up, um, but I'm gonna put some insulation around them um, before that, so I have to run to Home Depot later and get some insulation. Um, yeah, so let's do this. I'm just kidding, I'm not making tea. The internet said if you dip the tip in hot water, almost boiling, it'll help get that coupling on. So, here we go. Got the insulation for the pipe and some wire stuff, um, but first we got to go from outside to inside. I'm gonna do it through these little holes. All right, we're back. Day three. This is taking me way longer than I thought. Um, and last night we had a 2:30 in the morning pipe explosion in the basement. So. Um, came downstairs to four inches of water in the basement, but it's mostly concrete and cinder block. So there was just a compression um, coupling that blew out. So I replaced it and cinched it up real tight. So we should be good to go. But we're getting back to the bus. Um, I got some of these elbows to make that curve up here in the upper compartment. They only had plastic, so that's what I went with. Um, and then quick tip for these, the insulation guys, there's tape or sticky on these um, and you take that off after you put it on, otherwise it sticks to itself and it's a disaster. So um, figure that out after the first one. Um, picked up some more of this while I was at Home Depot this morning at 6 a.m. Cool, let's get after it. I'm trying to fix the bus. Good? Come on under. I got this one inch uh, pipe insulation and I decided to get the indoor grade stuff for in the storage compartment and then the rubber outdoor grade for outdoor. Well, that does it. Now I'm gonna turn these valves and go check around and see if anything leaks. Hold your breath. No leaks there. There's no leaks here. And no leaks there, so. These look good, but I don't actually know if water's running through here yet. Okay, so the underneath is finished. It's a mess of zip ties and uh, insulation and all sorts of stuff. 
but I think it's gonna hold, it's steady, it looks good, it's clean. Um, and so now I'm gonna run the electrical line back to the pump that pumps the coolant around um, or up into the front heater area. So I've never done electrical before, but I think you just crimp it and stick it. we got it done I uh, I ran a little bit of electrical just spliced the wire together and then put a uh, put a little removable um, connector on it because I didn't run the line how I wanted to I haven't fished it through yet so I think that's it 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 turned on and off the pump did and there's no coolant leaks anywhere I've got a few more things to zip tie and duct tape but that's it, that's the rerunning of the coolant lines. So, um, thanks for watching guys. If you're still here, go ahead and like it. If, you're not, if you don't like it and you're still watching, congratulations, you made it through a video you did not enjoy. So, <laughs> that's all. Uh, I will see you next time. I think we'll do some wall framing next time. Peace. Leo, say bye. Bye. Peace out. Peace out. See you later, dude. See you later, dude.